Hello, 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 and welcome everybody to another Tech Tip Tuesday evening in my time zone. Um, my name's Ken Close. I'm a member here of Healy World USA. So hello, Team USA. Uh, maybe there's some people from other areas of our planet, but hey, hello from USA. Um, I am joined, joined tonight by our head of operations, Jake Barron. Hey, Jake. Hey, Jake, how you doing? Hey, Ken, how are you? And we've got from our uh, amazing tech support team, um, Henry, helping out in the chat tonight. So thank you very much, Henry. Yay, welcome, Henry. Let's go. Woo, woo. Everybody tell Henry howdy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let me tell you guys, if you guys are brand new to Tech Tip Tuesday, well, welcome and uh, get yourself comfortable and bring your questions. If you've never been here before, well, I'm, I'm going to tell you what we do. Uh, if you have been here before, this is going to be a rehearsal. Uh, what we do is this is a chat based forum where everybody gets a chance to throw a question in the chat. And then myself, Jake and our uh, superstar Henry in the background from Tech Support will unpack those questions we will find out um, solutions and uh, we'll explore um, extensively <laughs> whatever your question might be. So what we can't do is we can't treat, diagnose, prevent, or talk about any diseases or disorder. Uh, we can't really give any diagnosis or actually recommendations for programs for any conditions. So that's not what we do. Uh, we just wanna make sure you guys understand how to use the uh, Healy hardware, the software, the apps, uh, maybe any of the theories, concepts, or ideas around how Healy works. That's what we're here to do. So if that makes sense to everybody, let's go ahead and light up the chat and get this party started. Are you ready, Jake? Let's get started. Okay, here we go. All right, what do we got in the chat already here? Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so here's one. Let's see. What is this? Is this about the natural cycle used the use the set the phone date back mentioned on natural cycle would would be good if natural cycle used phone GPS to set zone. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good suggestion. Um, like uh, location services on your phone being able to enable that. Um, so now sometimes people are traveling and of course you want to put the proper demographic where you're at whenever you're running the natural cycle just because the circadian rhythm is different that's the important part it it synch synchronizes your body to where you are in our planet all right yeah so these suggestions by the way there is within um the ticket portal uh, within the service uh, portal on in your shop page you can put in suggestions in there this is this is great because you know that content is evaluated took taken a look at and you guys are geniuses out there too you know <laughs> yeah also not not even just within the ticketing system but within you know the natural cycle lives inside of the heal advisor module or heal advisor app yeah. um, there is a send feedback option within the app itself where you can Go to the settings, go to send feedback, and then you can pick the subject. Uh, you're having a problem, an idea, general feedback, that kind of thing, too. So you can do it within the app as well. Um, and the product team, of course, always likes to get um, any any sort of feedback, you know, to, to keep in mind for any improvements that we can made for future updates. Yeah, awesome. Um, okay, let's see. What else do we have? Well, let's see. Chris says, I have an odd problem. All right, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we specialize in odd problems here on Tech Tip Tuesday. <laughs> oh my gosh. Recently transferred uh, internet connection in the house to fiber. Um, there is a new router. Since that change, um, the resonance and the heel advisor won't connect via the Wi Fi. Um, I can seemingly get the resonance working, but with no Wi-Fi. So you can get it working essentially using your iPhone data, probably. Previously, uh, Wi-Fi was always on. Okay. So not really so odd. I mean, um, you change service providers. It's important to also see if there's any security measures on this new uh, network that disallows certain access right um we've talked about some of the vpn kind of things about here uh, on this call yeah i think i i'd be willing to bet that that's what happened here um because 
on last week's call, we had someone that couldn't connect. Um, something happened like in, back in January, I think it was. She suddenly could not connect. Uh, we mentioned try turning off the VPN if you're using one. She did that, and within last week's call, she was able to connect fine, and you know, um, things were were all were all great again. So that's probably there's probably some sort of security setting on this new network that it, it kind of how you do that from varies from network to network, but if you call. Um, possibly the your internet provider or something might be able to guide you through what you can do to either turn off some sort of restriction that might be on there uh, that will allow it to connect again. Yeah, and go to your uh, your your service provider, uh, your, the website for your service provider, and there's some probably some yeah. FAQs in there, and yeah. um, you can take a look at uh, you know things about security measures, security settings, VPN, that kind of thing. Because it's it's a lot of times, especially look at look at the evidence. As an engineer, I have to look at things from ten thousand feet, and I look at what's different now than uh, that it's not working. That was you know not the same as when it was. So okay, what is that? Oh, then that be your internet provider. So that's where I would start for sure. Um, of course, I mean if we go to the basics, making sure that even though you have a, a wireless router and you see a full fan connection on maybe your computer or on your smart device or whatever says, yeah, you have radio signal between the router and that smart device, but you may not have data transfer, right? In other words, are you able to log on to other websites from your computer, from, from your smart device itself? Are you able to, to, to surf and browse the internet? Uh, making sure that that's uh, intact because it's a new service. So you wanna make sure that you actually are getting Wi-Fi signal uh, are not Wi-Fi signal, but data transfer within that Wi-Fi modality. Okay. Uh, as far but, as odd goes, that, that one's not odd, actually. So <laughs> some, someone else bring us something more odd so we can answer that question here on the call. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Though that, that was on last week, too. So thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Okay, so here's one. Can you provide the best video link to walk people through using a program on the resonance? Oh, see, there's a lot of questions around the resonance. Why? Because it is a, we're teaching, I just had some more questions about this today. We're teaching the world about quantum entanglement. <laughs> we're, we're, we're teaching it and we have to teach those basics in order for people to even understand how does the resonance system even work, right? How does that evaluation and that analysis even work? Um, so, uh, best video. Hmm. Well, you know, in terms of, um, some of the content that one, Jake was mentioned this before on our call here, the one that's on the coaching module, uh, does a lot of great, uh, detailed, um, uh, explanation about, you know, within the coaching module, cause they kind of, they work the same or similar. Yeah. Um, yeah. They they all live within that that analyze app and they're all working with the the information field so uh, that's why we like to refer to them you know even if you're not talking specifically about the coaching module uh they go kind of together with the the resonance analysis as well mm -hmm. and that is in the um it, the academy. It is in the academy so Look in the academy and, speaking, and coach. speaking of academy, there is some huge improvements to the academy coming uh, next week, actually, which will be discussed on Frequencies and Friends on Monday, April 3rd. So make sure you catch that. So we got a lot of great improvements um, coming uh, within the academy. And we've also done some, um, well, I know you've done some Healy for Beginners and Beyond on the Resonance. Mm -hmm. right. Wasn't there some episodes there that gave some good content about the operation and, and of, the, of, of the residence module? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, even even the one we did earlier this month, Ken, you know, it, it was specifically about doing remote analysis, but the 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 feedback or the information discussed in there, you know, was, even though it was remote, kind of is all valid for someone doing it on themselves too. Absolutely. Yeah. E yeah. Even though you're doing it locally. Yeah. Uh, so we talked about, you know, entering a, a client. We we talked about the um, uh, the the client's purpose and then the evaluator's purpose. We 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 kind of went through that from a remote standpoint, but it's it's valid even in person. 
I think it was a good episode. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we got. What's up with Klarna? <laughs> okay, good question. Uh, is it still available? Yes. Um, someone said, see, it was said that I couldn't complete a request with message. Sorry. Try later. Technical problems. Okay. So Klarna is a standalone, essentially, website separate from Healy. When you go and you make a purchase, you put your, your item in the cart, and then you choose to play with uh, pay with Klarna, it moves you over into their system. And then you kind of go through whatever, uh, you know, the application process and the approval process. And so if there's something you're getting from that, that system, it is unique to Klarna. Um, anything you want to add to that, Jake? No, it's, I mean, it could be that when she was you know, trying to access it, it could have been down. I don't know. Um, but it, it is still available. You know, if you check out, um, it's one of the payment methods you can select on our, on our shop, but this, I hadn't heard of any issues of it not working. It's the first time that's come up. So maybe it was just a, something at that moment wasn't working properly. I would just try it again, maybe open up a new browser or something like that and, and give it another shot. Mm -hmm. And Henry's in the background adding content. So there's a link there to the Academy folks, by the way. Um, so you can go and look at the Academy. Uh, let's see, Izzy, thank you. She says that our March 2nd was awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, so by the way, you guys, if you want to save the, the content of the chat, the, the three little dots down there at the bottom of the screen next to the um, little smiley face icon. You click on those, that will give you the opportunity. If you're on your PC or your Mac, your home computer, uh, it will give you the option to save the chat at the end of our call. So um, so click on that. And you'll be able to do that. Otherwise, if you're on a smart device, it won't let you. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So, yeah, Adria, you're saying yeah, I, what I really need is, is to provide a video step by step on using the resonance for people who uh, are ready to set up. Take a look at that video. It's it's hyperlinked and you can actually just take certain pieces of it and share that. If that's what yeah, I mean, take a look at it um, step by step. Um, you know, I highly recommend taking a look at uh, the coaching module as well. See what you resonate with. But I, again, making those suggestions to build content still happening, step-by-step <laughs> -step stuff. Okay. There's one for Jake. Curious, Jake, what program are you currently running with the wires? <laughs> I'm actually running uh, regeneration from the fitness uh, program group. So, were you out crushing it in the gym? <laughs> I well, I did work out right before this for this meeting. So I like to run that one uh, typically in the evening. So. And you know, by the way, guys. It, so to that point, uh, regeneration. Think about this for a minute. Regeneration is great because it's on the fitness page. We would tend to think that that's kind of what it's uh, main focus in. And yes. For the most part, it is. But if you're just out uh, on a walk, uh, if you're out gardening, if you've been out, um, even if you've injured a body part, right? Regeneration increases the the bioenergetic part of your recovery protocol. Recovery protocol. Now, what that means is your immune system is a big part of that. Okay, as a uh, you know, as a performance coach, what what I what we always recommend is maintaining a high level of immune support uh, within our lifestyle because that's what really repairs the muscle structures, any injury, um, and then, of course, prevention of, of illnesses and such. It's, it's all con connected. All right. And by the way, regeneration, um, there's a one, two, and three within the bioenergetic vitalization protocol. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there's also some within the digital nutrition there's some uh, 
some regeneration in there too, which is going to focus on the nutritional side. Um, amino acids, you know, proteins, minerals, nutrients, that kind of thing. And, and not that, not that it's replacing food, but it's increasing bioactivity uh, within the body around that signature of the nutrient or mineral. All right. Let's see, where were we? <laughs> we are, let's see. So there's uh, one about, I uh, was curious about what, what you're using. Um, Izzy says, um, your explanation in that call was awesome. Uh, talking about mm -hmm. the um, remote on uh, resonance. Okay. Um. Let's see, Rochelle saying, I did know I could send upgrade suggestions via back office tickets. Going there now, okay, while I keep listening to you guys, thanks. <laughs> there you go, all right. Um, here's a question, Melinda's asking about, let's see, I have a grandfathered Healy. I bought, um, I bought a uh, P of three coaching program, power of three. All right. Soul cycle, et cetera. So now it's a resonance plus. I want to upgrade to professional and it is showing to be a resonance. Um, I need help, please, before the 31st. OK, so you originally had the grandfathered. Now, the grandfathered devices, there was no resonance plus. There was. Yeah, uh, I, I think she's. The things that she's added on is she's saying, I guess, is it makes it sort of equivalent to the current Residence Plus. And, you know, that there's nothing really in between. There's not like a, a Residence Almost Plus sort of <laughs> um, a model. So, you know, the upgrades do follow just Residence to Professional or Residence Plus to Professional. What you can do, though, if you do have more than one Healy, uh, you can transfer one of those other modules that you own, say Soul Cycle or Power of Three, from one of your Healy's to another one of the Healy's you own. So, say you might have a, I don't know, a Gold or something like that, and you want to move Power of Three to that other device, and then that way you kind of have um, uh, more features on that other device, and then you can go ahead and upgrade the other one to Professional um, as well. So, I don't, I don't know if that's situation applies to you but if it does it's a it's a good option well i know that i mean we can look at it from the other side too that it is less expensive to upgrade a resonance plus versus a resonance but mm -hmm. the grandfathered ones that model is just resonance and so there's only that option from a resonance to a professional uh, but if yeah. you have a resonance plus another unit uh, then as jake was saying you can transfer things around as far as what you've paid for in terms of modules uh, or um, program groups, uh, but still, that the the name of that one that you purchase is going to stay that name no matter what you add to it, and it's going to have that res that upgrade still going to be the same price. Yeah. So and it's it is a tremendous you know value right now at, at seventy five percent off for all upgrades. So even if even if you have a device that you maybe don't want to upgrade all the way to professional, maybe you earned a free gold device or something like that, and you just want to make it a resonance. You know, this is a great um, opportunity, certainly, to to make that happen before the end of this month. Okay, Linda's saying if my Healy is not keeping a charge uh, as long as it used to, um, is it the age of the Healy, or does it help to do that hard start? Right? What, there is a reset protocol. Um, for kind of re, re setting the entire charge cycle. So there is a protocol for that. Um, I know we've, we've posted things before, maybe, uh, Henry, uh, do you have that handy? You can actually just post for, uh, this is for Linda, Linda H. Uh, you can try this, this reset protocol for resetting what what is called essentially it's it's the charge indication so the Healy itself you know the battery in there isn't directly connected to the app but the app is displaying battery function okay well that can get uh, miscalibrated 
And so you can recalibrate that. We'll see if we can get that posted in there so you can take a look mm -hmm. at it. The how to. All right, let's see. Um, so Dory put the natural cycle on my iPad to start on start date. Then I decided to put it on my phone uh, to get it um, on my phone to get the reminders on my phone wants me to start over. Yeah, and it, it, it's true it does because the, the Heal Advisor um, search module or the heal advisor that that houses the natural cycle is the same no matter what device you're utilizing it from because you log into it uh it's a it's essentially just look at it as a like a website <laughs> and you're just accessing it from the, the ipad or the iphone or whatever um and once it starts the clock ticking on one device you move on to another one it's going to it, it it there's still suggestions i think that we should put in there about you know it's this function i we've been having some things about resets and restarts and so another great suggestion to put in about um you know transferring your cycle mid cycle yeah we actually we've we've sent um a lot of feedback to the product team over the last week or so on ways to improve that if you if for some reason you have to delete the app and reinstall or kind of to pick up where you left off or go back if you accidentally went forward so uh, they are aware of that and you know they certainly will do their best to incorporate that into a, a future update okay um things just keep getting better everybody i believe it i've been here for over three years <laughs> it just keeps getting better all right. Uh, here's one. Let's see. Could you please explain the amount of frequency level you should run a program when using the leads uh, as well as with the coil? I understood that the lowest frequency that keeps the flow going is best when using the bracelets. Um, that, uh, let's see, let me keep going here. Uh, that it was best not to feel it. Yet there are some of the YouTube saying differently. Um, okay, so <laughs> there are a lot of, I, I, there's a lot of opinions, all right? Healy builds uh, set foundations or rules around um, the masses, all right? Just to make sure that everyone's safe, uh, that everyone can operate within these guidelines. When we run the uh, the electrodes, whether it be the bracelet or the sticky pads and the wire electrodes uh, from the Healy, we're running microcurrent. Okay, microcurrent is uh, is a certain amount of current flow. In other words, uh, electron flow or or what we call amps uh, through the body. All right, and that's adjustable with the Healy with the app. You can adjust it from zero percent all the way up to one hundred percent. And I want to also make sure you guys understand that not all frequencies um, go through the body the same. So th the lower the frequency, so let's say five hertz or a hundred hertz, the lower the frequency, the closer to what we call density or, or solid matter. And it takes a little more power uh, sometimes to get those frequencies through the body because it's solid, solid matter. Frequencies act differently based on the medium they're being transmitted through and the the frequency itself the higher the frequency the easier it is to get through material objects the lower the frequency the more difficult um so when we're trying to get current flow through the body and this 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 microcurrent is the carrier pale the carrier wave for the frequencies themselves so in other words the microcurrent is just like a transport system it just carries it through the body it's a it's an electron flow carrying it through the body. What's unique about that electron flow is the frequencies that Healy is is placing upon them. It's the information, and that oscillates at different frequencies from zero point one hertz, which is a fraction of a hertz, all the way up to one million hertz. That's the bandwidth in which Healy transmits, and they break that up by one tenth of a hertz increment. So that's almost nine million 
different frequencies. Okay. So that being said, some frequencies need more power. In other words, you need, you may need to increase the current flow, but as we've said many, many times, uh, that to feel that sensation, to feel the tingly or the pulsations or the convulsions or the pinching or the itching, whatever, to feel that, what that does is that sways our consciousness, our awareness. The mind starts to look at what's happening to the body, right? Paying attention now. And where our attention goes, our energy goes. And so it can turn on the sympathetic nervous system, or in other words, the fight or flight. And we don't want that. We don't want that to happen uh, because we just want the cells structures to do their job nonchalantly doing their job and then being influenced by this microcurrent without their alarm system going off. All right. Does that make sense? So if we can feel it, it's quite possible that their alarm system is going to go off. And now you're going to start to agitate or irritate cell structures. This is not the purpose that Healy wants. So this is why we keep the current load down just below the threshold of sensation. Now, you can turn it up. I'm not saying that there's a complete wrong way and it's not going to be effective. I'm not saying any of that. But what I'm saying is to optimize the function, this is how you do it. Keep the flow, the current flow or the intensity down below the sensation level. Right? And pay attention to the frequencies because it will change. Find a happy medium. In other words, go to where you feel the sensation, back it off one click. Right? If you feel it at 20, back it off down to 15. That's in 5% um, increments. When it comes to the coil, uh, you can crank it up to 100%. There is some minimum recommendations. 65% is about the minimum. But if you are sensitive to energy, and this is where I, the, the last phase of what uh, is important in terms of self-healing comes in. Pay attention to your body. Put the responsibility back in your lap, right? Take it back for yourself and be responsible. How do you feel, right? And so if you're sensitive and you're feeling sensations and it's uncomfortable, again, that, that sympathetic nervous system is going to kick on and that's what we want to avoid. So making sure your body's comfortable, pay attention um, and run that coil you know, 65% is about the minimum is what I was saying. It was what Healy recommends, but pay attention. If you're running it at the higher levels, 100%, just know that you're going to you're gonna drain the battery quicker, right? Anytime, you, whether you're running the, the power through your body, through the electrodes or through the coil, you're going to drain the battery quicker at the higher percentages, okay? All right. A lot of information, I know. But I want you guys to be clear. It's important that we understand the principles and what's going on here. Okay. So, so there's a question here. Do we know if anybody has been approved this month? I'm assuming back to Klarna. I tried yes. uh, for days. There's Yeah, every day. We have a lot of people um, get a report every day. So it's... There's definitely not a system-wide problem with Klarna because orders are are being approved and going through. Um, so it, it could be a one-off situation. And, you know, they do have um, live chat and phones um, support available 24-7. They could try that. I don't know if they'll be able to tell you anything more, but uh, it, it is working. Yeah, people are getting uh, approved. Purchases are, are being completed. So definitely once you set up a Klarna account, you know, you've got a, there's an app and there's a communications system. You can actually get them on the phone. Okay. Thank All you, right. Henry. He's, he's put a lot of the the answers here into the chat and, and the, the hard reset process as well. So um, thank you for taking care of that. Uh, the question here from Maria, she said she couldn't watch the last Healy Horizon episode, uh, so she wants to know where she can catch it uh, if she missed it. So let me show you <laughs> where you can check that out. So if you go to um, the Healy World official page on YouTube, so that's what this looks like here. Not Healy World America. This is Healy World America's here. Go to Healy World Official, so at Healy World Official. And then if you go to the live section, click on live, you'll see here, these are all the, 
the, the Healy Horizon that were live streamed. We had the one from January, one from February, and then this one here from March, so from 13 days ago. And you'll also see uh, last week's the first ever Resonance podcast. Um, there's some great content in there as well if you want to check um, check out those recordings. That's the cool thing about having the Facebook Live. I mean, they're they're there for us. We don't have to log in. Just be a member. There you go. Yeah. Oh, one other thing I wanted to earlier, Ken, when we were talking about, you know, which programs we were running, uh, you mentioned the regeneration one, two, and three from the bioenergetic vitalization. And, you know, this actually, I, I had a question, uh, I think it was a lot, last week or so. Someone asked me, how do I know which one to run? Like, what's the difference between generation one or generation two? Regeneration three. So I, you know, I always like to point people back to the Healy app manual. Uh, because if you go there, you'll see here this is the bioenergetic vitalization page. It's on uh, page 32. This is the app manual that you can access from back office in the manual section or from your Healy 2 app. It's built into there as well. But you'll see the, the very the first paragraph I mentioned regeneration one, two, and three are programs based on each other. Each of them should be used for one week, so three weeks in total. So run all three, you know, one at a time, one week at a time um, to, to get the best, um, the most benefit out of them. Mm -hmm. They they sequentially, they're similar to another system that was in um, uh, the um, deep cycle. They sequentially mm -hmm. work the body, um, increasing, I don't know I, how else to say it increasing um it's, uh, it's you'll see here i mean best way i guess to st stimulate vitality is kind of how it's, it's worded in the the app manual but, yeah in phases so yes. it, it 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 sequentially increases in, in in a phase work so yeah great advice there everybody we want something right away right we want it done now <laughs> today but that's not how the body works it does yeah. take a little time so so be patient with it yeah. <laughs> okay, where are we here? Um, I kind of lost my place in our chat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there was something I was looking at here. Henry's rocking the answers back there. Hopefully you guys are getting some great content. Please save this chat at the end, guys, so you can review it um let's see patty's saying that uh let's see she's had her device her healy for a couple of years left her phone number here um at, let's see had the healy a couple of years been having some trouble last few days not being able to use it um at all and not connecting but the most upsetting thing is, um, which I don't know if it's possible, that there's something wrong with the system or it's updating. So I was unable to access my previous Mag Healy McMakin. Okay, as far as the system's concerned, um, the Healy system, if you look at the whole system wide, now remember, what, what is the Healy system? When you purchase something, all of the content you purchase is available um, once you download it to the app. The app itself contains everything, right? So once you download it to the app, the app is the thing that works everything. So if something goes wrong with the app, of course, that's possible. And I've had many apps um, have failed, not just Healy, but they fail for various reasons, whether like... Um, your smart device has very little memory left. Here's, here's one of the things I want to caution everybody is that with these smart devices, we do a lot with them today, right? And, and one of the things that we're getting really um, big on is taking pictures or videos, and they take a lot of memory. And these smart devices have a limited amount of memory. So if we have a lot of videos, a lot of pictures, all of a sudden the memory available on our smart device is low. And if you don't have more than 25%, of your memory resource left on your smart device and you're trying to use these Healy apps, it doesn't matter which one, mostly with the blue dot, but 
um, it doesn't matter which one, you don't have enough memory, it's going to have a lot of struggle, it'll fail. Um, it may even so the app may even get written over by other um, software. So step one, if you don't know how to check how much memory is available on your smart device, I promise you there's a YouTube for that. <laughs> Go to YouTube, put in there a search, say uh, something like, how do I check the memory on my iPhone 6 or whatever your device is? And then there'll be a YouTube on how to look at that and then make sure, okay, I got I got 25% left. I'm kind of on the threshold here. So I may expect to have issues. Okay, so clear out some of the stuff. Uh, another thing I recommend is turn your smart device off on a regular basis so you kind of get an opportunity for it to reset, as well as making sure that the operating system is up to date on both your, uh, your smart device and, of course, the latest software, aka app you're using. All right, if you're having trouble with it, I don't know, say connecting via Bluetooth. All right, there's some steps to do. Um, I think we've got some FAQs on Bluetooth, right? Yeah, there are. On the, if you go to our help center at help.healy.world and just search Bluetooth, there's a, some tips there as well. Yep, so help.healy.world. Yep, I'll take you to our FAQ page. Take a look at those um, because here, here's, here's why I say this. We have so many, uh, I mean, hundreds of thousands of Healy devices out there that are functional. And when we have one somewhere that's not, so it's probably not system related, but it could be um, smart device related or environmentally re re related, something with, with other Bluetooth interference. There's, there's something, it's solvable. So we just gotta go through the process and things are, are very, it's very important because the process in which we go through, I have people all the time tell me, I did that. I'm like, okay, let's go back through the steps. And I do a one, two, three, four, five. And they go, oh, I missed four. Well, then the whole thing is scrapped. <laughs> we got to start over, right? So there's a sequence. Uh, so take a look at those FAQs and let's see, you know, if those will help you. Um, let's see. Uh, Henry put a lot of content here, you guys. <laughs> great, great tips, yeah. Good stuff here. Connecting the US, the the USB, some charging stuff about how to reset that. This mm -hmm. is also in, in your, if you're on your smart device right now, I highly recommend that you try to jump on your computer before the end of our call and then, and then save this chat um, to your computer because you won't be able to do it from your smart device. If you're on an iPad or an iPhone or a tablet, at the end of the call, you won't be able to save this, the chat. Mm -hmm. All right. If you are on your smart device, you can kind of like tap and hold and you can take sections, but it's kind of uh, tedious. Okay, what else we got? Where am I? Um, let's see, Marie says, couldn't watch. Okay, I already think we already took care of this mm -hmm. one. Couldn't watch the last Horizon episode, figured that one out. Uh, as far as I can tell, I have everything in the Resonance Plus. Melinda's coming back to say, as far as I can tell, I have everything in Resonance Plus. If if you still are a grandfathered in resonance, that's that's the label of what you own. And yeah. that's the serial number associated with what you own. And so yeah. upgrades are only going to be pertinent to the serial number and the label in what you own. Okay. Yeah, I, I definitely understand what they're trying to, to accomplish here, but if you add the other programs that are missing individually, it doesn't like unlock that next level there. That's why, you know, if you do have a, another device, it's always a great option to transfer some of those other programs to it and then do that upgrade. So, yeah. It, yeah. If, if we buy, you know, a, 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 an LS model car, it has these particular features and then the next model has something better. We, we, we can go and buy all those modules and put on our car, but it's still going to be from the title and the manufacturer's perspective, the LS model, right? It's not going to be the deluxe or whatever. So this is the way it works with Healy. It's the same. It's the same in any, any industry. Um, this is the model that we have. I have grandfather devices as well. And, uh, and I have a resonance grandfather device. And if I want the professional, it's going to be the resonance to professional price tag. 
at, of course, a 75% discount. Okay. Let's see. Uh, so Marge is saying, do you have an opinion on the approach to running programs um, to areas identified in the resonance scan? I typically select the top three areas, in other words, program groups, and then the top three specific programs, um, those are the of the greatest in the, in the residence, the, the highest relevancy, I'm assuming, uh, within each area to work on with the Healy. Um, have wondered if I should do all three within one area, in other words, say meridians or something in one day, and then the next day do another area, maybe chakras, um, and so on. Um, on, and so on in terms of running the programs. Okay, so and this is a great question. I, I I I dive into this often with people because it's it's really interesting to to try to sort out. So when you run a scan with the resonance module and you're scanning in the in the database called all Healy programs, when you do the scan, it's going to net you five pages of the of all the Healy programs of the program groups. Okay, so. Everything from gold cycle to uh, soul cycle, right? All of those program pages, what there's, I don't know, 17 or something. There's over 300 Healy programs now. All of those pages that you're that are in that database are going to get scanned. And the top frequencies that you need for bioenergetic alignment are going to be picked. And whatever program group, the top frequencies exist in um, is going to be listed. So it's going to show you five program groups, right? Each one of those groups have a potential of up to 12 programs. Okay. So five times 12, there's 60 potentials. That's a lot. Now, if we want to dial it down into what I call a recipe, then we take each one of those program groups, all five and scan them individually. I suggest you do them in order. Okay, because they're gonna the 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 revelation of those five are gonna be in order in percentages. So whatever the percentage is, don't get so hung up on the percentage. Like, well, this one's 89 and this one's 72 and this one's 65. What's all that mean? It's an order, it's a pecking order. All right. Yes, if it's higher in percentage, the relevancy is higher, meaning you probably haven't been working on the content. You need it a lot. That's pretty much it. All right. So now you have a pecking order of those five pages. Great. Now scan them individually, each page, one through five. And each scan is going to net you another group of results. In other words, the top five programs in that group. And they are also going to be assigned a percentage. Again, don't get so hung up on the percentages. Just know it's a pecking order. So the number one uh, on the number one page. So now, again, you've got five pages. You've scanned it. Each one of those pages, you have five separate results here. You can do this in a couple different ways. Um, you can just take the top five or the top three programs. If you're going to do three per day, the top three programs on the first highest priority page and run them. Now, don't do this um, in short order. This, what I call the recipe. Remember I said, five pages times five um, programs per page, potential of 60 different programs. This should be spread out over weeks, not days, but weeks. So in other words, you're taking the top three programs of the top page you just discovered. Remember there was five total. You take the top three, run them in uh, per day for a week, then move to the last two run them for a week. So that's one way that you can work with this, this grouping, this recipe. Another way is you could take the number one program of each page, right? Group them together. There's five there, right? So one week you run the first three, the next week you run the last two. So there's ways that you can adjust this and, and you and your body are essentially the, the experiment, <laughs> So I say run it one way in, in one particular um, reading and then 
after you're done with that complete series, which is going to take you weeks to do so, then do it another way and try, and try that result. Okay. Pay attention to your body. That's the most, I, I say this all the time, guys, because that the body is your, um, it's your friend. <laughs> it is also your rudder. Let it guide you. Okay. You see something out there, Jake? Yeah, we got a couple more here. So Jan had a question. Uh, I said, where do I find the most current category and program descriptions? The printed copy I have is now outdated. So let me show you again, back to um, back to back office, which is where we were earlier. If you go, um, let me share my screen and show this. Uh, Hold a second. Oh. Okay, so uh, back office, my.healy.world, go to downloads. And there's two documents you're going to want to look for. One is called the additions overview. That's this one down here. Uh, this is, if you just click on the presentation type at the top, this will pull up. Uh, oops, I unclicked it, but. Um, that one has a, it's more detailed um, as far, I'll show it in the, here in a second, but the other one you're going to want to look for, it's a little bit shorter. If you go to the brochures category, there's one here called um, Program Overview Healy. There's also one for Mag Healy, which has all the different Mag Healy program groups. So Program Overview Healy, um, Program Overview Mag Healy, if you have a Mag Healy. And you also see here while we're on this page, all the new brochures that have been added for each individual module or um, edition. So there's one that talks about just the professional, one the residents, one the residents plus. So there's some great content there as well. But if you go to, um, sorry, go back to here and look at the Healy editions, the program groups and modules. So this is the this is the longer one. This one kind of goes through. Uh, it's this one's actually fifty pages, so it's quite long. But it goes through each of the different editions and it has studies as well. So it talks about the programs that are there, but it also talks about some of the studies that have been done on those editions. Um, kind of as you go through it. The other one I mentioned, the Healy World um, Program Overview. This one's great as well, but this one uh, it's, it's a little bit shorter. But you know, there's a page for each program group. So gold cycle, it talks about each of the programs, local stimulation, learning, fitness, and so on, um, all the way through um, our newest one, Soul Cycle here um, near the end. So those those would be where I would, if you want the most current information, just go to your back office and you can download those and print them out again if you'd like. So. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. I did see a comment in here. Somebody's on their smartphone and don't see the little three dots to save the chat. Well, that's because it's not <laughs> possible on your smart yeah. device. Sorry. Fortunately not. Zoom hasn't figured out a way to make that possible yet. But Yeah. So um, you know, before the end of the call, if you could switch over to computer, you know, and um, you then you'll have those three little dots on that platform. The, the mobile app doesn't have that. It's only on the desktop or laptop version for saving the chat. Okay. Um, what else we got? Let's see. Are we caught up? I like that. <laughs> Let's see. Um, let's see. I thought we had one more. Where do I find on my computer? So the from Linda, the question about the, the saving the chat. Yeah, it's the, the three dots next to the smiley face if you in the chat window. Uh, if you click more. Um, it'll say save chat. It'll be an option to save chat and it'll save it to your computer. 
Yeah, down there where you would where you're typing in your yeah. content for your chat. There's below that. There's a couple of icons, which is a little pencil thing, which is talks about format. And there's a smiley face and then three dots. The three dots. Tap on those or click on those. Yeah, we going back up a little bit here. So this is a, this is a great question. So uh, I would say this is one of our FAQs related to the Analyze app. But um, so she um, Paula did two scans on two different Healy's a few minutes apart, uh, and they came up with different results. So why would that be? Hmm. And you know, like again, this this comes up a lot because we're working with the information field, and you can. It's it's constantly changing. You can never a hundred percent duplicate that exact moment in time as far as everything that's going on. So that's not it's not that surprising. And also, this person's focus throughout the throughout this as well could have been different as well. If they if they saw the results from before, that could influence how they're feeling about this next scan as well. So there's there's really is no way to to get the exact same results doing a couple uh, different scan a few minutes apart so that's right because information leads to transformation as jake said the moment you become aware of something where you place your awareness is where you place your energy and when you place your energy on something whether it is um uh, a condition so most of the time we see these these readings and we think oh my gosh that's a diagnosis and, and we may <laughs> panic right and when you do that you make things worse and so the next scan is going to be different and or or we see something, we go, oh, yeah, I've been working on that, you know, and now it's showing up and I'm grateful for the results. Thank you very much. And it disappears because it was a condition prior. And and this is when the when we're dealing with the information in the field, the information field is consistently on. It's always on. It doesn't take a break. Um, it doesn't go on holiday. Um, and it's instantaneous. It's It's above the speed of light. Information field is omnipresent. And it's it's if we have to look at it in terms of more technical uh, boundaries, look at it as electrons. Look at it as an electron. Every single molecule of everything you see has millions of electrons. Okay, so one skin cell, <laughs> millions of electrons, right? One skin cell, and so within an electron, there is is a a connection to the quantum field. All right, and that's where the information lies. So. The cool thing about that is that's the access point that Healy is referencing when it's looking at what's going on. And this is working at the speed of light far faster than we can even think. So in terms of from one time, one scan to another, that's like an eternity in the quantum field. All right. You think it's instantaneous or maybe it only took you a few minutes, but that's like an eternity. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see, David saying, let's see, Healy original firmware 226. Can it be updated to pro version or only to 229? Uh 226 can be a pro. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. if you have 226, there's there might be a, a handful of devices out there from, but from what I've understood, they weren't sold in the US. So from pretty much any device that was ever sold in the United States um, could be upgraded to professional. So. Yeah, firmware version 226. There was some before that even that weren't 226. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, firmware version 226 is, yeah, you can make it uh, professional. Yeah. All right. Um. What else? Uh, I might be skipping around because now I'm seeing that question. Hi, I'm on my iPhone. Don't see the three dots. <laughs> yeah. That's because it's not on your um, on your phone. All right. Okay. A couple of five minutes left here. What else can we? It is five, five, five in my world. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's grab another question here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? So um, let's see, Linda is saying that she saved chats before, and this one's only giving me the faces and not the dots. Usually vertical, not 
horizontal. Um, I don't, I, I have them on my computer. I don't know. Everybody else have them on your computer, the little three little dots for saving the chat. I'm not sure why they're not showing yeah, up on yours, is. Linda. I don't know. Um, if you if you want, you got time, jump out of the Zoom and jump back in. Maybe that'll reset it for you real quick. Mm -hmm. And you'll still have the chat. So, um, okay, Jan says, I was under the result I was under the impression that the results from a scan are for that moment. So running a set of programs that are recommended at that moment uh, would likely apply uh, two weeks later, right? Yeah. So when you run a scan in the present moment, right, you run a scan in the present moment, it's finding everything necessary for you in the present moment. If you run another scan, it's going to have a different set of values for that were based on that present moment. Doesn't mean that the things prior have been solved. It just means that it's going based on the current condition, the present moment. And when you run another scan, um, I, I, I hear this all. People are running scans like every day and every ten minutes, and it's like, okay, we need to back up. We need to back up, slow down a bit. Run some evaluation. If you feel the need to run an evaluation, why do you feel the need? What's going on with you? you know, what is happening in your life right now? You feel the need. Okay. Run the scan and then do the work, right? Based on that one scan, just stay with it. I, I guarantee you that the content that is found there within that one present moment scan is have, is it will have re relevance. It will have relevance. It'll have relevance to that moment, but it will have relevance for whatever your alignment needs are okay and and the body takes time to to do its wonders and all you're doing is you're just addressing certain systems organs and cells within the body um, that were in need of alignment based on the scan okay my recommendation would I'm, I'm an engineer i can be as analytical as the next guy even more so but when we over process we add to the equation of disharmony. There's an inverse proportion between analytics and creativity. The higher and the more analytical we are, the less creative we are. So we need to back up a little bit, dim down the analytics, let the objective observer do the job. That's what Healy is. Let it do its job, run it, and just trust in the process. It may take a few weeks, right? And, and is that okay? Is that not okay with you? I mean, honestly, um, I like an athlete, when we're trying to work a, an athlete and we're trying to up the ante for an athlete's result, results, there is a conditioning, a repair phase, and then a repeat. We have to go through that repair phase. Okay. Uh, let's see. Chris says, um, further to my ear earlier questions regarding the resonance not working, our new fiber internet connection in the house. I have taken the phone outside away from any other internet connections. Phone has no SIM card. Okay, Wi Fi off, no personal hotspot. Uh, and the resonance is working fine. Okay, I thought resonance needed some of the internet connections to work, but this is not the case here. Have I been assuming incorrectly? Yes. <laughs> Short answer. So once the resonance is loaded to a smart device uh, and the app is functional, you no longer need a uh, Wi-Fi connection um, in, except for to upload and download things from your cloud. So in other words, the app will work standalone. The app will work standalone, whether it's the Resonance app, aka Blue Dot or Blue App, or the Healy 2 app, aka this, this pinkish colored app. Either one. Once you first initialize and set it up, it will work standalone. Okay. Um, shoot, we are at the end of our hour already. Do we have a lightning round, Jake? Anything burning question for you? Uh, let me see. Let's 
see if I missed anything earlier on. I think we, I think we did a pretty good job tonight, Ken. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So um, I'll see. So Jan, let me see one last thing here. So um, you wouldn't spread a series of programs that came up following one scan over several weeks, assuming that those programs are going to apply three weeks later, right? One scan, one set of programs, multiple weeks. Leave them in play for multiple weeks. The body's going to take time to heal. So allow that to happen. The next scan is multiple weeks down the road. All right. Allow that. Try it. I'm just going to say try it. Give it a shot, okay? Trust in the process and see what happens, okay? All right. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I love you all. Um, until next week, have an amazing week. Um, and don't forget to join us to, for our What's Up Wednesday. Um, coming right up. We're nearing the end of the month. So um, keep an eye out for the Frequency and Friends coming up the first of the month. All right, everybody, there's some awesome specials out there. So please take advantage. Take advantage. The 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 Mag Healy's on a crazy special deal right now. Yeah, and, lowest, lowest price it's ever been. And the yeah. upgrades are ridiculously low. So let's get yeah. it going, right? All right. If you found value here, invite your friends next time. And hopefully I'll see you next week. Big loves. See you guys. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Henry.